newest ambassador for the youth at the United Nations and also the newest bride. It's, it's been a while, but we haven't spoken ever since you got married. So once again, let me take the opportunity to congratulate you. Thank you. So how's marriage treating you? You've been looking extremely better, <laughs> you know, extremely better. Like it's like, Thank you what are you worrying? Word. Thank you for that word. Mm. Actually, I mean, it's a good thing to be hooked up for life especially if you're with someone you you really love and it makes you better so that's the appropriate word actually mm. <laughs> thank you for making her better mr eugene the cancer but let's let's talk um about your work at the un um that came to a lot of people as a surprise well i'm i mean what i'm studying currently in school uh the african university college of communication is uh, developments communications and these are things that I have on my mind and in my heart as a passion to advocate I mean anything that pertains to uh, social development anything that helps change our community our world our country as a whole I'm there so uh, it's, it's something I've already been building for myself mm. yeah. and it comes across as a huge one Oh yes, it is huge. It's a very huge responsibility um, and I'm not taking on the post just because of the post, but to execute, to do the work as I'm supposed to. What were you supposed to do? Well, I'm supposed to uh, put things together, file reports, how we're doing, get uh, issues across the country or in the country together. When are we supposed to roll? These are things I was supposed to do, put things together with the executives, the head, the head body and so forth. And then we get rolling and start executing all the works. Mm. But you haven't said, I, because I've been wondering what the specific duty is. Are you supposed to be educating the youth on something? Is there a project that you're supposed to adopt? Well, you and you Ghana is supposed to be uh, standing for peace and security and so we're, we're standing in being an advocate of change, uh, development issues, developmental issues and to uh, go on the field, help the vulnerable, help people that are lacking uh, 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 peace and security, anything that pertains to the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals, these are things that we are championing and uh, willing to get on the grounds to work, like I say, no hunger, no poverty. Poverty. These are things that we're supposed to work towards with the youth of our country and ensure that we are happy and we have peace and security. Mm. Let me put you on the spot because I see that now you're preaching a lot since you got married. There's, there's a post that you made that got a lot of people talking. Well, what happened? I know you know the post I'm talking about. What happened? I'm, How, I'm, I'm an advocate of change and so if I see things that I think will benefit the youth, or, or the generation that we're coming up because we are we are the new generation and so when I see things that I think will benefit them why not I share it it, it doesn't really come with any judgmental mind or anything I just feel like why not share yeah and in the backlash was massive I saw that you had now blocked the comment session and all that it's not about backlash I've made the post I'm sure it touched a lot of people's heart. I had people, young girls texting me, they have this issue, how do they go about with it? How do they come out? So I mean, if it works for you, you work on it. If it does not, you just look past it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lastly, people, the, the, the main issue for a lot of people is that they didn't think that you were the right person to come tell them that. Because it's, I read some of the comments before you blocked the, and some of the comments were like, oh, when we check your records, you don't, you're not the right person to come and tell them Nobody's that. right. Nobody is a saint. We are all sinful. But I mean, as time goes on, as we keep growing, we, 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 we have in mind that, okay, we need to be conscious of certain things. We need to be conscious of certain sins, sinful acts. And so I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not worthy enough. I'm sinful as well. I'm not judging anybody. It's a nice post. If we all hit to it, we all become better people. In life. Thank you. She was planting the ring. I know a lot of people ah, saw the yeah, ring. As well. So thank you. And, you're, uh, you're looking great. Good to see Good you to once see you. again. He seems to be the man of the moment. He's been trending. Uh, he's become even bigger after his visit to Nigeria and all that. Mr. Eventuary yeah. for the vanishing. Yeah, for the we vanishing. don't know what's going on. We don't know about it. Charlie, so <laughs> how are you enjoying your stardom? Oh, I'm enjoying because uh, when God gives you so, this, this gift, uh, let me enjoy it and be happy every day. So when you will be happy, God also be happy. So when you be the door, door or buried, God also be becoming buried and take it away from you. You understand? Yeah. You got back from Nigeria with a lot of on stage. Oh, you had more than a minute in Nigeria? Yeah, I have just uh, okay, 30 minutes. 
on Nigeria. You had 30 minutes yeah. to perform in Nigeria. We only saw one minute of your interaction with the crowd. Oh, yeah, but uh, this, the, the way uh, Kenny Black want me to do, that way I do, yeah. Mm. So uh, the, the Nigerian people like the, your waist is cute and then you can take your money for vanish. That way he, he love it. That's where Ghani Black wants me to do that, so that's way I, I can do, yeah. So, so, so when, when, when you did that for them, they were so excited. I'm sure that some of the big guys also in Nigeria, I'm sure you made yeah. some good money. Yeah, I, 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 I met some big guys, uh, comedians, big, big comedians in Nigeria. So I'm, I'm so happy, that time I'm so happy that I meet them, yeah. And, and now you're back in Ghana. I hear that when they call you, you want to take plenty of money from the people and all that. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't take the plenty of money. Do you know, can you remember like what you were given when you went there? Uh, the, at the Nigeria, well, I, can't, I can't say it in you, the, in you the air. Yeah, you it's, got... it's, it's for convenience, yeah? <laughs> I see. I see. But then again, then after you had a success, you had success in Nigeria, you decided to sack your manager. Oh, no, I, I would not sack him. But what, the thing I'm doing, you know, I need the, the person who it, it, it do it more. Yeah, it's, it's older on that thing I'm doing. So he can train me. That way, and I, I, that way I, I come to Kumasi for KJT versus Makola. Yeah. So he didn't understand it. Okay. He didn't understand it. Every day, when you are you are sitting on your on your feet, uh, uh, Rory said that I went to a Ojina Ojina ho. Into it, so went to a Ubejina wa name wa. Into oh, what about you? Where where trash it? No way. What so? It is an it. It's our self. We go anymore. I be born anymore. Our self. We go anymore. We be there. We want to. We to me call next level. I'm a Obiye. We say ah. I say na boy ya di o ye no. So now yeah. KJT versus Mokola is your next level. How yeah. how is that going for you? Oh, it's going good for me. So when when I come there, I see different things. Yeah, now I, I started uh, learning reading and and some yeah. Do so you have to read the script? Yeah, I can read it. I can read it. I can read it. Yeah. <laughs> I see. So what happened to your taxi business? You've abandoned that one. Oh, it, it will be it will be pushing aside small. For so you still drive? For, no, no, no. Now I'm not driving. Yeah, I'm focused. So I'm fo yeah, I'm focused of the of the gifted of the God. You understand? <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> so, so you, you, so you decided to put the taxi business up. Yeah. Driving it for you? Uh, no, that that taxi is not my taxi. It's somebody's taxi. taxi okay. So, so God give you this gift. You should be focused on it and learn some on it yeah learn more so when you learn more and focus on it uh, something big it can come on you mm. you understand mm. yeah we can only wish you the best and uh, keep shining yeah. and keep making us proud amen 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 for amen, the amen. amen. <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh, now we get to speak to the cast of uh, KJT versus Mokola and so these are, uh, some of the cast of uh, KJT versus Mokola uh, which shows on the Joy Prime Network and uh, great to see you guys. Yeah, great to see you too, Miss G. <laughs> yeah. Always a pleasure to meet you. Okay, yeah. so I haven't met you before. You are, you are the man who speaks like people from my place, eh? The I agree, man. Uh, yes, I am. Y yes, you are. Uh, yes. I, are you truly an ever or you develop the accent? Um, I'm fancy in Portugal. With the central region. <laughs> How do you go about that? You learn, you study, you copy. NGO can do almost every accent. Oh, I see. So, I see. you learn from... So what, what, what's the feedback so far from my people? Um, your people think that I am your people. Them, eh? And I am one of you people, so it is uh, as simple as that. I see, but it's going well. I, if you didn't say you were fancy, I would have thought that you were ever. I always said that you were ever. But you guys are talking to you. I, are you. Are you a nominee for tonight? No, 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 no. We just came to support. That's all, yeah. And I see that you have new faces now, like uh, Mr. Eventuary. Uh, has, has in team left or he's still with no, you? No, in team is, uh, he's always with us. He has nowhere to go. I think, um, you know, these publicity things, uh, it was one of them, yeah, basically. But he's with us. Mm. He's not going anywhere. Okay, maybe they are trying to do some damage in your control. He's with them, he's not going to. We haven't seen him in a bit, that's why we are asking. Though. Oh, really? Mm. He's in every episode. Watch, yeah. he's in every episode. Are you sure? Very, very sure. Uh, if, if people talk about eventually, but he's not even appeared yet. But we've seen adverts 
or a social media advert here? Yeah. Posters. Yeah. Yes. It's still Clement, it's still Richmond. Um, yes. Yeah. I see. And then let's come to you. I hear you can do every every accent. No, I can't do every <laughs> accent. Just I mean, that. I mean, it's just an exaggeration, mm. you know. Yeah, like, it's just one of those things. But, but how, how is it going so far? Even though you're introducing new faces, um, yeah. is, is the the buzz that you receive in the initial days still same? Um, you, I mean, you wouldn't say that it's still the same, but, you know, with the introduction of Mr. Adventure, you know that um, people have actually accepted and then they're, they're looking forward to, you know, the new episodes of KJT versus Makola. So, yeah, I think, I think, yeah, we still we still have the buzz, you still have the crave that people still love it. So, yeah, I think, I think yeah, I'm, I'm going to say, yeah. Is there a time that we're going to see you move from just doing episodes into developing an entire movie? Is that oh, oh, like yes, we, we already have a movie. Uh, we've already started a movie. Uh, we, we did a trial of Shatawali, which was a special KJT versus Makola movie, a full feature film. And you can actually see it on Cine Stool. Uh, you go, you, and, and, and it, was, it was an amazing film. And, and it received a lot of, you know, um, uh, you know, should I say nationwide uh, appeal. Yes, and, and, so it was and, good. And that's because, you know, after that, some of us haven't yet seen it. And you're yeah. saying now that we can see it somewhere. So I'm thinking that why didn't you commercialize? We didn't sell CDs. You didn't you don't have it on shops and all that. Uh, you, yeah, you, you know, <laughs> the, ch the challenge has always been with uh, how to distribute movies currently in Ghana. Yeah, in Ghana. And that is why we took our time. Um, we found partners and we've built an app called the Cines Tool. And people can just watch at the token. And we yeah. just want to open it up for other industry players also. Cines too. You go yeah. to any of the... App uh, store, you go to App Google Store. store. Google, and then you download it. Or you can go to the website also and then just watch at the fee uh, token. Uh, because this is the way forward. This is the future. And how to get films to people. And now that that is out of the way, we can go on and produce more. Because we realize that you can't sell CDs anymore. And so this is the way. Yeah. Now, he also talked about the fact that he's joined. He's, you mentioned, yeah. he's, yeah. how, how, how is the coaching going like? Because, you know, for a lot of people, he said he can read scripts. It sounded very, very unreal to, to me. Really? Well, well, you'd be surprised. I mean, all I, all I would want to say is I, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, let the cat out of it. I don't want to give you too much. But just watch out for the new episodes of KJTL versus Mokola, oh, where he's going to feature. True. Very soon, yeah. you know, in, in a couple of weeks. weeks I, I yeah. believe in a couple of weeks he'll be showing. And he's actually a lawyer from Ifyokuma. That one I can let you know. Okay. Yeah, lawyer Michael Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> it's what? Continent town <laughs> of Ifyokuma. Yeah. So, 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 I mean, he's, he's brilliant. He's, he's like a sponge, you know, to be honest. He, he absorbs quickly and he's ready to learn. So uh, we, just, we just thought this is what we can do to help. You know, we, we like to nurture talent, to bring out talent. So we saw him and then we realized there's a lot in him that we can actually bring out. So we decided to take him on and then, you know, he's actually learning. We're taking him through a lot of, you know, uh, work. Yeah, a lot of training. So, and he's... He, you see, you see some of the training videos soon, yeah. yeah. I'm sure you see some of the training videos and you, you'd, you'd absolutely love him. Well, we are actually products of theatre. That is how he brings all of us out. That is how he has trained all of us. The nurturing he was talking about, it is on the stage, even before we thought about film. Uh, but, that, but that's solely in Kumasi. Yes, yeah. yeah. So, so, so is, is it right to say that it's not on a large scale? It is on a, on a commercial Accra, stage happens, in, in Everything Kumasi. happens in Accra. No, everything uh, doesn't happen. That, just that, that, that is you a guys lie. Don't, you don't know what is going on. Yeah, you you, you yeah. don't know. If you are indeed from my hometown, you know not everything happens in Accra. <laughs> you don't know. A lot of things on. that are yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we, yeah, we want to come bring some of our shows to Accra. Yes, we want yeah. to do that. Actor and former broadcaster, uh, Kofi Ajilolo. Good to see you, sir. Nice seeing you too, and thank you for inviting me here. And uh, I'm sure that as a movie person, you're excited about what is going on this evening. Definitely. Definitely. This is one uh, aspect of uh, our industry that I know very well that uh, uh, propels our industry to the kind of uh, levels or the higher highs that we are expecting it to go. Mm. And uh, even though you're not a, a nominee this evening, you're still sure that you know uh, this industry without nominating the veterans and all that is it's, it's, it's okay well the thing is uh, for it's a yearly event isn't it and uh, the fact remains that uh, those who have actually worked and uh, worked so hard uh, to deserve uh, awards out of excellence why not we need this kind of these kind of events to take place uh, when it comes to veterans like some of us We've taken so much awards, the recognition is so much. So why not, uh, I'd rather say, get the young ones, upcoming artists, 
who, who probably need to be recognized for the hard work that they've put in. Why not? Now, since we're talking about movies and issues around it, let me quickly ask you your take on the, the battle to build a film village somewhere in Kumasi. Some people are calling for it in Kumasi. Others are saying that it's okay to build it in the uh, eastern region and all no, that. No, no, no. Be specific. So, oh, I should be specific about where? Up the mountains. Be specific. I know that's supposed to be Chebi somewhere around Chebi area. I, Good. I, I, now you are proving to me that you are a journalist and you are interviewing an, uh, a veteran, veteran broadcaster. broadcaster. Yeah. Hmm. It was. Uh, I can recall that government came out with uh, or government agency, tourism, whatever ministry came out with a, a statement that they were going to build a film industry or film village in this country, and I heard, which for sure is not alleged that. The village is going to be somewhere around Chibi. I mean, I didn't, I didn't just, uh, my take on it is, why Chibi? The hub of Ghana films now, talking about Ghana films now, you like it or not, the hub is in Kumasi. Kumasi is where the production of films actually take place. So if you are telling me that you're going to build a village for filmmaking and film industry, the other thing of Kumasi, why Chibi? Whoever thought of that to decide or whatever about Kumasi, uh, Chebi, excuse me, probably that person didn't sleep well and woke up to tell me a veteran in the industry that is going to build film industry in Ghana or at Chebi. It's unthinkable of. And so me, I thought, I was confused. If it's Chebi, rather think of go and build a village for films in Kita, my hometown. Yeah. But now there's been talks that they, they will do one there and do one in Kumasi. So I'm saying that uh, as, as people who are trying to plan and then make sure that our film industry develops to a certain level by establishing villages, didn't they think, didn't they think before coming out and saying like, because this thing was said, then later on, when, when people were agitating and talking about it, that's when they came out and said they are going to build another one somewhere. There. These are all lies. They should have thought about it. It's so simple. It's so simple. If you want location, where to build. We have so many you know, places where there are lands. Why should be? Why should be? Because they've got a vast land there and... Uh... Well, no, if even in schools, when we do the elementary school, or the elementary principles of economics, you set up a factory or industry, you are setting up industry, what do you think of us? You think of where you get your labor quickly or cheap labor. Those are the things that you think of. How many actors are in Chebi areas? So the boys who and the girls who travel from Kumasi to or from Accra to Chebi to go and act. Because we don't have land in Accra here, Dodoa and all those places that they can build a village. Or what? I have a problem. Whoever might have sat down to thought about Chebi, I have a problem with that person. I could have been in government to even decide on matters. As a broadcaster, I'm broadcasters, mates of my colleagues of mine who are, who are sitting in the parliament there. And if any of them can't kind of tell me that the film does it, I, have a, I, have, I, have, I think I have a case with that. I will have a case with that person. Kumasi is the place. But what, 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 how important oh, is this? Or region. How important is this film village anyway? Pardon? Of what importance is this film village to you as, as an actor? Yeah, we need it. In a sense that sometimes we go for locations. We will need even hospitals. We need uh, 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 saloons. When it comes to the African films, we need African huts and villages. And it must be where we can get all these resources to have these place built. So it's very important. These days when we go to some houses to film, they charge, they charge some exorbitant amounts of money. You want to use cars, they charge. Even space, the charge. But here, here's a case that we can build these kind of things for the purpose of film, make believe that this one is a hospital. 
this one. We do it. It's, that's what. That's when people like the set designers come in. So, you know, it's very important to us. Very, very important. And you touch a bit on government and governance, and you know about the agencies wanting to build that, and, and then you talk about the fact that you could have also be part of the lawmakers and all. No, that. I didn't say that. Well, you said you have friends who are there, yes. and so you could you could influence. I could discuss things with them mm -hmm. about this. With the promises that were given in this uh, by this government in the manifesto, as compared to what has been delivered on the ground. Well, uh, I, I don't think uh, all the promises that they made concerning the creative arts and things like that, I don't think they've, they've, they've uh, actually done anything about it. You, and, you know yourself as you are interviewing me, you know. They've not done anything about it. The promises were so huge and large, but to now nothing. I, mean, I don't see anything. I can't be bothered because I will still be here. A producer will call me to come and work, pay me, and I'm in my corner. Yeah. But for the promises the politicians promised us that in this order they were going to do that, nothing has been done. Excuse me, I'm very sorry to say, but nothing has been done. You, 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 sound, you sound really irritated. You know? Because I have a passion for this industry. I'm one of the oldest pe persons in this industry. Oldest persons in I moved from one, I was a musician, moved out to become a, a journalist, went uh, onto TV, into TV presentation. Uh, today I'm an actor. I am, I am an entertainer for life. And the passion is so big. God has blessed me so much that I'm, at this age, I'm so cool. The passion is so big. That's why sometimes I get so uh, hyper about these matters. Just on a lighter note, sir, I saw you on the red carpet and uh, I saw you with Lebanese. We didn't see any congratulations from you when she got married and all that, considering what has happened in the past. My congratulations or uh, congratulatory message to Vicky was private. You don't expect me to go on the internet. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm too big for that. On the, on the uh, what do you call it, social media, is there congrats? No, no, no. Maybe because uh, the relationship was public, that's why. Uh, well, if it, public, the relationship was public, but uh, if there's anything at all, come on. And when they were having a wedding, I was on set somewhere out of the country, so uh, I would have come to the wedding, but I was not around. Thank you very much. But your, your name was still dragged into the conversation, even after the wedding, that um, it was it was all uh, a cooked up thing for her to be relevant and all that, and to get attention. You didn't see those stories? Whatever, who cares? And uh, actress Gloria Safo is also on the red carpet. Uh, okay, this is the, the green lounge or whatever you call it. But she's, she's been in there. So far, so good? So far, so very good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this happens every year. This is the fifth anniversary. You, as someone who has been, you know, you, you have been like the ambassador, you know, silent yeah. ambassador, you know. For, uh, <laughs> sort uh, of. Yeah. Do, do, do you think that we have improved on what we've been doing here? Okay, with regards to Good Movie Awards, yes. I think it's been fantastic over the years and the consistency and, and the, the, the class, I mean, everything about Good Movie Awards is class, it's top notch. Um, it's not easy to actually recognize an industry that is supposed to be dying or to be, you know, wearing off. Um, I think they've done a great job. Um, honestly, um, I don't. I don't know if I should say this to, you know, <laughs> praise myself or whatever. But I did the voiceover for the nominations, and when I saw the movies, when I saw the list they brought, I was like, okay, so this means that we're actually doing something. I mean, I just thought that the movie industry it's it's suffering sort of. But when I saw the nominations and the movies, and then. I, after I saw them, I referred to see some of the movies and I think, and I said, oh, we're doing something. So um, for them to actually do this for the industry um, consistently, I, I think it's amazing. It's, it's highly commendable. Mm, and and yeah. then we've seen the Walk of Fame, um, mm. uh, five people being mm. honored, you know. Yeah, to to no, be they, honest, yeah, this they, year. Yeah, yeah, they are quite young and people have been asking, so <laughs> we're doing... These older folks are there. Why are we honoring the younger? But you seem to have worked with almost everybody who has been uh, put up there for mm. the work of fame. Mm. Well, who do we have that is really young? I think 
Are we, maybe we talk about um, Jackie up here. Jackie, Jackie is Nadia. young, but and Nadia is there, but they have been there like um, over a decade, right? And I think it's it's they they need to be recognized. They need to be appreciated. Um, they came at a point where the movie industry was almost collapsing, and they helped revive it. I mean, talk about Abdul Salam Muni, then Venus Film. I mean, anytime you hear Venus Film is having an audition, you want to run to go, and they really sustained the industry. So. I think it's it's just worth it. Mm. it talking, is worth you, you keep talking about the the challenges facing the industry. Mm. Do you think there will ever be a time we'll bounce back, or this is a yeah? Pim There'll be a time we are bouncing back. I mean, I see I see an industry, a hungry industry, coming, you know, striving to to bounce back. I I really see the. The, the change and the passion that everybody is putting into reviving the industry. I think we are bouncing back. We are not yet. We are bouncing back. Looking at um, so far, there are so many productions going going on and I, I think um, collectively we can all come together. But we need investors. We need investors who who believes in what we do, who believes that there can be some ge um, uh, revenue generation from our industry. And, and, and I think if we have that with our passion, with our perseverance, hard work, determination, good storylines, good casting, good movie, good screenplay and all that, I think we can take over the world. <laughs> how's, how's it going for you as uh, an artist manager, sort of? You have a, an artist, you know and every day you, you're trying your best to get her to be accepted by Ghanaians, you're pushing her. How's it going for you? Oh, um, so far so very good. I mean, I, I was just told after, um, by the organizers of this very event, after her performance, you know, um, she got selected for the Golden Spotlight, and after her performance, one of the organizers was like, Gloria, you have a good talent you have a good you have a good, a good artist and I'm, I'm so proud of you um, so far so very good I mean Fina has been amazing so far working with her has been promising I mean it, it gives me joy there has been no regret so far and I I'm praying that God helps me with strength I mean with the whole team not just me like the lace up records team so we can push her up there. I mean, it's we all grow together. We, we become successful when others are successful as well. So, so she's, she's it's the been first, good. Is she's the first you have on She's the, the first signing, yeah. You want to do some more? Yes, definitely. Funny enough, we've had more than more than 50 people who want us to you know to sign them on and 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 we we are actually bringing uh, an initiative which will be communicated later and this tells us that the youth are actually hungry and there are people out there who have great talents but need people to to support them so i am praying maybe with help of um supporters and sponsors and, and well wishes and of course Ghanaians um, at least if Fina is accepted by Ghanaians and the world it would it will give us you know other uh, privileges and we can leverage on her, her achievements. Let so. us ask you the very last one before you go and it's it's happening in a dispensation where people say oh Artis are ungrateful you help them and blah 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 you're not you're not afraid that you might you know, become <laughs> one of those who will be singing that kind of song. This question, mm. <laughs> Gloria, you won't believe this. When we started, we had a lot of people who actually wanted, wanted to talk us out of it. I mean, people were really discouraging us, um, making us think we're even wasting our money and our efforts, our time, everything because of you know the perception out there and it's true it's happening and we hear most most of them and we go like hey okay so this is it like like a pothole on on the road you know um but then again we're we're we're, we're uh, we are determined and with, with perseverance and the vision that we have to help the youth, especially, you know, and impact them positively. I think with the drive we have, uh, we, we, won't, we won't look at that. <laughs> so, Elamesa is back in Ghana and uh, she's here at the Goldie Movie Awards. There's been a lot that's happening this evening, including uh, uh, the honorary awards for five of uh, the people who have played massive roles in this industry. 
yes i saw that and i was really overwhelmed trust me it was beautiful like i was impressed i was happy uh, they've done a lot like some of us i mean me i look up to them you know I watched them do their thing. I remember along the way I joined the industry. I saw them, I admired them. I really, you know, I really admire everything they did. I'm proud of them. I'm happy Mimi is acknowledging this young woman, you know, than like she said, waiting until they are in their 50s or 60s or whatever. So I'm really grateful that, you know, they're being acknowledged, they're being appreciated, they're being celebrated. And it's a good thing. Like as a young woman, I think I'm really happy. Like it's a beautiful night, I must say. It's a beautiful night, but you, you have just come to town. Yes. Uh, what have you been up to? Uh, a lot. Mm, like, I've been doing a lot. Business, been you, you've been chilling. Business, and of course, fun is always part of the whole thing. Fun is part of the package. You know, you can be working all your life and don't want to take care of yourself or want to, like, they call it in code chill. Like, life is too short. Today, like, Junior Gogo died yesterday, apparently, and it's terrible. He was just 40. You know, I just, I'm in my 30s, like it just happened. I need to, I'm working, actually I was in school. School is over. My business, Hair by Elementa is on and I have a couple of things I'm doing. So I've been pretty much doing everything at the same time. You know, the whole package in the same thing. So yeah, I've been doing great. Be, be, sh sh uh, okay, before before I, I let um, in uh, Rosalind again, uh, somebody whispered to me that it's like uh, you're expecting. Is it true? Uh, no, I'm not expecting. Guys, I'm not pregnant, okay? And I'm not hiding anything behind this big skirt. No, I'm not pregnant. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not pregnant, okay? I have a son. I have another one. When I'm ready, I'm going to show my photos, but I'm not pregnant, okay? I just added weight. Trying to lose weight. I'm not pregnant. Thank you. Okay, Riz. Rosalind Ngiza is here and uh, she has seen some of her colleagues being honored this evening. Let's find out how she feels about it. I feel very happy. I feel great. What I always keep telling people is when you meet people at the top, you need to support, you need to push them, you need to respect them so that one day when it's your turn, whoever is below you or beneath you will support you and push you. I came into the industry, I met Chakia Pia, I came into the industry, I met Nadia Buari. Yeah, people say they're my colleagues, granted. But whatever it is, it's not easy to make a hit, I keep saying that. So once they made a hit before I came into the hit experience, I would use this opportunity and this platform to congratulate them for being awarded and honored as um, young legends because I know one day I'll be celebrated too as well. So if you ask me how I feel about them, I'm so excited. I see those two, one way or the other, they've actually really helped me. Regardless, they believe in me. There's this time Jackie said, oh, if it's Rosalind, I'm comfortable because she'll read the script, she interpreted it well. Whenever I act with her, I'm comfortable. Now coming from someone who's made a hit, I mean, it's more than an, an endorsement for you you know, who is beneath her. With Nadia Bori, I remember several she's been to Nigeria and, you know, she calls me for jobs, even when they don't even need me. I don't know what to say to them. So at this point in time, I want to congratulate you all, Nadia, Jackie. I really adore the two of you so well. I adore Eva Nelson as well. She's equally, I think, in my opinion, I think she's equally one of the legends. And I want to say at this point that Rosalind Ngisa loves all of you so much. I keep praising you. I keep celebrating them because it's not easy to make a hit. I keep saying it. And for the young ones, it's the key. No matter how good you are, your attitude will bring you down. And these stars have really good attitudes. When it comes to being humble, Jackie, Nadia, well, even Nelson, trust me. So let me just say congratulations to all of them. They've done well for the movie industry. I mean, they were part of the turning around of the movie industry and they've put Africa on the map. Yes. Jackie, Nadia, I love you all.
Oscar Provincial to the uh, Pick This Fest Award. You know, the last time we spoke, we talked about awards in Ghana and, uh, and this has happened. You picked the Fest Award uh, away from the NAFTI Awards. Mm. Yeah, I'm exceedingly humbled by it. Um, and to think that I've been really away from the industry for the past 10 years. And with my first major movie, I win an award. So yeah, I'm humbled. And um, we just give thanks and praise to the one that is up there that has made it all possible. And all the people, I mean, from the director, you know, and the fantastic cast and crew, um, couldn't do it without, without them. So, you know, uh, the, the award goes to them, not me. And that also for the fact that this is your first time attending an event, uh, the Golden Movie Awards Africa. What, what's your review of what you saw today or experienced today? I think it was it went quite well. I mean, obviously there'll be hitches here and there, but, I mean, but um, I think it has huge potential. Um, awards are to motivate, you know, performers, and I think that's what it's done. If you look at the caliber of the films that were, you know, on on show, um, amazing films. I mean, Azali, the one that was from Uganda. Um, you can see that a lot of creativity has gone into it, and so. Hopefully we'll be looking forward to better films that will come out of Africa. And as I said up on the stage, we need to change the narrative that is currently hanging around Africa's neck. And the best tool, best format is film. We need to prepare Africa for Africa's rising. We keep on saying Africa is rising, but in the next 20 to 30 years, Africa will be at the top. Our people have to be ready for that. And it means there's going to be a, a lot of things that have to change in terms of our attitude, in terms of everything that we do. And I think that this is the best format. It's worked all over the world that can really catapult and change, you know, and make a transformational change in a whole society and on the whole continent. Let's take you back to the last time we had a conversation. You told me that the, the Actors Guild was going to be in court. Have you been in court? Is there any progress yet? Well, we're still in court. Um, uh, nothing has really changed. Uh, and there'll be an outcome. Look, um, for, for us, it's not a big deal. Uh, we were just about to have an election. On the eve of the election, it was called off. When the court case is over, there'll be another election. So it's not a big deal. We'll go through it. We'll pick up the pieces. And we're still doing great things. I mean, the Ghana Actors Guild has been in the forefront of um, pushing for advocacy for the operationalization of the film Act 935, uh, the writing of the LI with other stakeholders, I mean, including the Ghana Academy of Film and Television, NAFTI, the Producers Guild, the marketers and distributors, a whole range of stakeholders. So we're still active. We're still, you know, making sure that what needs to be done. And currently, we're fighting for the film authority and for the president to appoint the board. Uh, we're told that hopefully that will be done very soon. So, Mr. President, we're eagerly awaiting so we can get our industry off, you know, firing on all systems. Thank you very much, sir. Thank Congratulations you for, to you. Thank you. So let's take a quick review from actress Beverly Afaglo. And I'm sure that you were here last year as well. Yes, yes, I was here last year. So let's talk about last year and this year. What, what's the difference for you? This is the fifth anniversary. Do you think that it's lived up to expectations? Uh, I think it's growing every year, it's getting better every year and she's doing an amazing job. I mean, Mimi and Dani, she has a vision and it's coming to life. I'm happy for her, I'm happy for the industry where we are going. So I'm hoping that everybody should come on board and support this vision and let it come to life. And now let's talk about the ceremony itself. You sat through the ceremony, yeah. um, you saw the people that were awarded and all that. Um, do you think that we've done well? Because I hear that last year, Ghana didn't do too well. This year we've got some yeah. people picking awards. Yeah. Um, I've not seen the movie Azali, but uh, for a movie to get so many nominations and She's get lying. awarded, I mean, I think they're doing a good job. So. I'm happy. It's unfortunate that we don't get to see most of the movies if we don't go for premieres. But I think they're doing a good job and applause to them. Now, talk about the Walk of Fame. Uh, some of your colleagues got honored uh, this evening. What do you make of the initiative? Oh, it's great. It's amazing. Actually, from the start, I thought uh, we needed to honor 
the grown-ups before us, but I got the understanding tonight that um, they want to relate to people who are the youth. So I get the understanding. And of course, these people have done amazing works over the years. Jackie, oh, amazing actress. She's worked so hard over the years. It's not easy. Now, acting and being famous is like getting it on a silver platter or working on a pack. But uh, before, it was very difficult for you to get the recognition and for people to love you and love your art. So for them to have done this all these years until till now they are doing it, I think they deserve it. Abdul Salam, I'm so happy for him because he's brought like 80, 90% of the stars we have in Ghana. I mean, who am I without Abdul Salam? Roger Kote, an amazing producer and um, production manager. So I'm very happy that they are being honored. That, that should motivate them to do more because they're still here, they still love the arts and they're still putting money into it. And uh, let's go beyond this awards. Recently, you lost a sister, and um, I saw what you went through on social media and all that. And it sounded to me as you want to do some advocacy through these things. Is there something like that? I, I wish I could talk about cancer, but really, when I go on the internet, I don't find much. It's unfortunate. So um, uh, my life is at risk as well because I now. I can confirm that it's in my blood, it's in my genes. God before. forbid that will be part though, but I mean, my dad died of cancer as well. May his soul rest in peace and my sister, so we are scared. And I think everybody, whatever you read online about cancer and how to prevent it, we must be serious about it because cancer comes in different forms and you won't see it coming, so yeah type of cancer did your sister die from? Oh, she went through all types of cancers. It's sad. From the breast to the spine to the blood to the brain to everywhere. Very sorry. Very sorry to you and your family. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you this is the brain behind the movie you've heard a lot of people speak about today. Azali, Azali, Azali. And I'd be wondering what it is. What is it? What is this Azali? <laughs> I, I think Azali is um, an indigenous story um, told by the filmmakers behind it. And um, it mainly centers on a young girl who travels from northern Ghana to southern um, Ghana in search of greener pastures. And the story is so beautifully told, and that is why everybody is saying Azali, Azali. Um, um, you need to see it to uh, yeah really understand what I'm talking about. So really, that's 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 the, the what reason. Was this? So the story is about a girl who travels, you know, in search of greener pastures, yes. um, in in Ghana or beyond Ghana. Uh, well, in Ghana, mm. this is a young girl who, by uh, some twist of fate, like, gets um, lands in Accra, in the slums of Accra, Sodom and Gomorrah, as we all know. And um, obviously, she becomes a kayaye, and um, she has to endure the life on the streets of Accra to be able to survive and see her way out of um, this mess. So this is a story that resonates with most people. I mean, with what is happening, um, this trend is. I mean, it's, it's as current as it is. So I think people really identify with the themes of the the story, and and also to like I said, it's. It's been really done properly. I mean, it, it's really told well. So, apart from retelling the story, well, do you think that uh, which cast did you use famous faces? Because I didn't see it. I yeah, haven't we, seen it yet. We used um, the, the most famous faces. I mean, we have in Ghana um, that we used the film Ajit Anand, um, Amaki Ababrese, um, Kofa Jenny, and then um, Peter Richie, and then some support cast. AJT uh, Anand and then Akofa, for instance, had to I mean, um, undertake uh, Dagmani classes. So they spoke Dagmani throughout. And even when AJT followed the young girl to Accra to look for her, she had a northern accent. So you need to see it to I mean, appreciate his talent. Uh, he, he, I mean, people, Dagmani, uh, the natives who were on set couldn't believe that I mean, he wasn't one of them. That is how authentic he was, and then uh, as well as Akofa. So I mean, it's unique. It's something different. Something I mean, uh, uh, unlike the normal stories that we keep telling. So I think that's why 
is doing well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is your first production. This is my first film. Wow. This is my first feature film. You, you must feel extremely proud. Yeah, I'm really proud mm. because aside this um, Godin movie, it it also won I think um, 11 or 10 awards at the Ghana recently held Ghana Movie Awards. Um, it went to Afrif, also won three awards, including best feature film. And it's gone, I mean, it's gone um, very far in terms of uh, the exposure to the rest of the world. Several film festivals have selected it and um, it's done quite well. Uh, now that you're telling us, I'm sure a lot of people will be interested in going to find this film. How do they find it? Where do they find it? Uh, currently, uh, we are exploring this. We, for Ghana, we've done a couple of screenings already. But um, we are also trying to explore the outside where currently we are actually in talks with some um, distribution outlets in um, seven Francophone countries to have the film uh, screened. So we are not yet on the internet, i.e. streaming the, the streaming platforms, but definitely we will get there. But for now we are trying to, it's been, it's also, I think it's currently running Emirates. Um, it had its run in SAA. Um, and then some few other places as well. Are you, did you premiere? Did you premiere at the yes, cinema? We, we did premiere it in Accra and then in Tamale and then um, I think recently we've been showed it in the National Theatre. So we've, we've done extensive work on it. Congratulations to you and your Thank team you once. So Thank you so much. I think Nadia Bwari happens to be one of the five people who were honored today uh, for their works over the years and I'm sure you're extremely humbled. Definitely, I was actually very honored, you know, to know that my works have been um, acknowledged, you know, and watched and appreciated. It's really humbling, yeah. And that you were honored alongside some other people and people said that, oh, these are young folks you're honoring and but other people say that these people have done works over 10 years. I've spoken to some of your colleagues who says, you know, you people brought a new revolution and all that. Um, to be honest with you, I'm not in the position to, I mean, the organizers honored me and I'm just a recipient and I'm just humbled, you know. So as to whether or not I, um, I deserved it, well, I have worked hard over the years and... I'm still working hard and I'm still putting Ghana on the international map. So um, I think I do deserve it. So I don't know. <laughs> but I'm grateful to the organizers for actually just acknowledging me, you know. Yeah. And I hear you're going to have your walk of the fame somewhere in the streets of... I, I, I heard Mimi talk about how she's going yes. to be I think that would be amazing if they can actually do that because we travel all the way to Hollywood and take pictures with icons, people we look up to, and it's only Money. fair. I was Money. Here. <laughs> it's only fair that um, they do the same to celebrate us. I think it'll be it'll be awesome. <laughs> Thank you very much, Nadia. Thank you. producer um, and the CEO of Venice Films uh, was also honored, and I'm sure that uh, it was amazing for you. Yeah, very amazing, and so excited uh, to be in the industry almost 20 years, and so happy that uh, they were able to recognize my work, and I'm so happy. Did you think at the time that you were starting this business, because a lot of people said that you said that the business at the time, no, most investors would not put their money in this. Do you think at the time you were starting this business that there was going to be a time like this where people will recognize the work that you've put in? Yeah, because I know entertainment business always uh, uh, gone ba uh, go back in the days was very bad. But when I came in, I realized that... Uh, the Nigerian movies were doing very well, so I decided to invest more into the Ghanaian movies. And I know we're going to get there, and today we are there. So, Thank you very much. And you've, you've, you've actually given us a lot of stars. Uh, almost everybody that is relevant uh, or has made it to that list uh, came through you. I saw Roger Corte talk about how, you know, the revolution started with you when you came and that was a big deal for him and all that. We know that the likes of Yvonne Nelson, we've seen Jackie with you, we've seen Nadia Boire all with you. Yeah, when I, when I came in, I realized that uh, there is no any Ghanaian movies uh, in the market. We are all distribution Nigerian movies. So when I came in, I, I started uh, doing audition and then searching for artists. And then I have my director by my side, I was Frank Raj. Go to occasions, go to the beach, hunting of uh, 
artists and then we got a couple of of artists and we decided to push them we got them all right thank you and the edinate actor director producer as well um just a lot of times people forget that i write Oh, you're a writer as well. Yeah, don't forget that Golden Movie Award was 2016. I won the best writer. Okay. Last year at the Ghana Movie Award, I also won the best writer. Wow. Yeah. I think that that side of you is not really projected to people beyond the industry. That's fine. Mm -hmm. That's fine. But I would not forget to tell people that you're mm -hmm. a writer. Mm -hmm. And let us let's start on that note then. So how how does this writing thing go for you? Um, for me, it takes me a very long time to put the writing into place. Of course, um, I might have a plot or a, a, a subject I want to talk about, but I, I, I like to play with the emotions of, of the audience. I go into the shoes of the audience and feel what they would feel if this situation happens in the cinema and all of that. So for me, um, it's been good writing. I keep learning each and every time. So far, so good. So far, so good. So let's highlight some of the movies that you've written, the stories you've written. Fortunately for me, almost every movie that I have worked on, I, I wrote it. I, okay. I, I wrote Could This Be Love, which was Majid, Michelle, Leo Wayne, and then Anama Magbar. My second film was Shattered Romance with Julia Pigarin. Mm -hmm. A lot of awards. My third was Beautiful Reels, Royal Dada, New Abraka. Just count them, the Corner TV series. Every, I think almost everything that I have, I have worked on, I, I, I'm, I'm part of the writing or I wrote it. Mm. And, and the, since you talked about working with people, let's t take our, my cast our mind back to when you were working with Funny Face. Yeah. What happened on that set? Because you had to exit or something happened. Let's take our mind back there. I really don't want to give credence to past issues because of course we've gone past that but um, I was working with him and he he claims he wants to change the director and that's what happened and um, yeah, yeah. You didn't Let's, let's just because maybe somebody said, oh, because what we had all at that time was that, oh, you are an incompetent director at that time. He's an incompetent actor for saying that. Whoever says that mm -hmm. knows, knows I, I'm not an incompetent director. If you have worked with me before, you'll appreciate my abilities and what I do. I am not. The things that happened on the set, uh, it was not even on the set. It was after the set. It was, it was editing delay and then they laid everything on me. Unfortunately, the editor has not been paid. I have not been paid. I used my own camera. I used my equipment to help shoot the cow and chicken for the first four episodes. God knows, the cast know, the crew. I even brought my own crew to that set. But you know, like, it's, like I said, it's past and gone. They aired those ones and you still didn't get your money? Oh, they paid me later, but of course he knows he's still owing me, but that's, beyond, that's besides the point. I've forgotten about it. I've gone ahead of uh, with, with things I'm doing, and I'm doing greater things than, you know, so. Let's, let's come back to today, inside the auditorium, um, yeah. when uh, the Nigerian act director, Frank Raja, Frank Raja, who, Frank Raja who a lot of us know here, uh, talked about you and the fact that he's contributed to, you know, suppressing your career and all that. I'm, I'm sure that that sends some chills down you in front of everybody. <laughs> well, unfortunately for me, no, it didn't send some chills because he has said it before. Um, I, I once invited him to Xylophone Media where I was teaching the, uh, um, the Xylophone Arts Club. I invited him over as a director that I respect so much and I have learned a lot from to give them a talk of how the industry is. And he confessed that to them and I was shocked. I actually shed tears. And I was like, Frank, because I have almost everything that I know, I did learn from him. And I, I, it's one person I really respect and love so much. So I didn't get where that sabotage was coming from. Well, I don't know. But all the same, um, or whatever God has written, it will come to pass. Um, he has really contributed to my career. Um, as in bringing me up uh, as an actor and all of that. I know his capabilities and I love that. But it's unfortunate that he has to, I mean... Do you think at any point in time you had done something that could have triggered that action from him? I don't know. My point is, even if I did something human, I can just apologize and we can go on. If you know there's a talent in somebody that you can raise it, why not? I mean, you can bring it out, why not? That's the most important thing. But I'm happy and grateful that he, he confessed or he just said it. In front, of everybody, in front of everybody, so that people will think that, okay, it was not like Eddie Nata was not making an effort, it was not like uh, you're not a good actor, you are a good actor, but actually 
people or industry players who had the opportunity to give you that platform didn't give you the chance. And I, till now, I still don't know the reason. And you don't, you don't want to ask, find out the reason? Well, the time he, the first time he, he talked about it, he couldn't find any reason. I, I'm sure the reason that happened, and that's why... You're rising too fast that because you are going to be playing in a league that he was, you know, already championing. Fortunate, fortunately, he knows my capabilities. He knows what I can do. And that's one thing that, that, that hurts me, because he knows, like he knows... He knows the level of almost every actor in Ghana because he's one of the people that in my generation brought all of us up. So he knew our capabilities. But like I said, I don't know what happened. And, and I mean... This woman who, like Hihet um has been, you know, part of uh, the movie industry in Ghana, even though he's Nigerian. And uh, I'm sure that but for the fact that, uh, I don't know why your name was omitted from that uh, walk of fame, but I know that you've contributed immensely. Oh uh, yeah, um, I don't know. Um, I would say that um, the most important thing is um, seeing and watching those that you actually started and um, uh, did a whole lot of work to make sure that um, um, they grow in the field. You know, the, the most important thing is to see them being celebrated like this. I'm very excited watching them sat and I was just watching them being honored by, I mean, in such level category, so I, ju I just think that it's 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 amazing. I think that that's 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 that enough is okay for me. But I know that um, Abdul, being I mean Abdul receiving such a honor, I mean is another thing because I remember the first statement he made to me was like, Frank, I want us to build actors here in Ghana, just like people have the Ramsey Noahs and the Genevieve Naji. Let's make the let's make Ghanaians like that. Let's be able to, let's give them commercial faces so that I can sell them I and mean, make DVDs and VCDs and sell. I told them, okay, we need to work on a plan and we worked on the plan and today the people we picked to work with are being celebrated like this. I, I just think it's a thing of joy. Whether I'm honored or not recognized for this, I know that uh, in a whole lot of things there are politics and everything to do. I don't know, maybe because I'm not Ghanaian. I'm, I'm quite sure if I was Ghanaian. I would have been given this honor. But it's an African movie. Well, maybe the next time uh, it will go into consideration. But a lot of uh, this evening, you got a lot of people speaking after that revelation you made up stage uh, with an apology as well to Adinati. Where did this come from? Um, you see, sometimes you just wouldn't have opportunity to say things, you know. Ed, Eddie was one of the actors that uh, when I saw, he was fantastic, he was good. You understand? He was fantastic, he was good. He had every quality I wanted in an actor, you know. Um, when I picked Majid Van Vika and all of that, he was one of the cast I also picked to work with. But for some reason, you know, me, then I was still very young, youthful, and I got upset with him and I decided to just push him aside and not minding him without telling him I didn't tell him I didn't tell him he offended me I didn't tell him he did something wrong to me I just neglected him and I wasn't filming with him whilst I was busy pushing Majid and all of that even John Dumelo came I started pushing John doing all of that and putting someone I know that has the talent to do it so sometimes you look back and you, you, you regret certain things when you see his peers and you know that you, you contributed to that the reason is not standing among them. You feel bad. I, I was so bad when I when I, I saw him. He came to greet me, and I was looking at those on stage. Even though Majid wasn't there and that, that but I just know that he deserved a spot like that because I know he was fantastic. If it was just maybe one of those actors, struggling actors, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't bother. It wasn't just one of those struggling. He was ex exceedingly good. You know, from the genesis from genesis, I saw him. Attain, attaining a greater height in, in the industry, but well, man proposes, God disposes. But other than that, I, I think I contributed to the reason he didn't pursue that career. What did he really do? I, I've been trying to ask him, what did you do? He seems not to be aware of what I he had done. tell him. So what did he really do? Maybe now that you've made the conversation, confession, maybe just let us know, what did he do? Well, I, I just think that maybe I also overreacted because I didn't ask him you know, the same thing I did not just to him, to a cosmita Asante. Wow. Yes. He also offended you. Yes. You know, but I just I just thought I should just let all of those sleeping dog lie. Uh, there, there were 
talks then that, you know, you know, being a Nigerian, you know, it wasn't that easy making film here and constantly making films here. You know, the back talk were like too much for me to handle certain things. So when I discovered that, when I'm told sometimes, because I, I have this craziness in me sometimes, so I overreacted. I heard some talk, talk, talk that I wasn't comfortable with. I just decided to just slice it off. Thank you very much. And I'm sure that he's... he's wrong, wrong, wrong thing was not asking to hear. Yeah. Somebody told you that he had said something about you, and, yes, and, but, and Sim was with Ekwe Smith Asante. But over time, I've come to discover that he's actually not that kind of person. So I felt very bad. AJ, who is a colleague in the media, has been following, you know, the award ceremony, and she seems, she seems mm -hmm. excited. She seems excited, you know, about the results of, for Ghana. Yes, yes, I'm so excited for this year. Cameroon. Like one almost everything. Hey, Kakara came in and said, Hey, not the Ghana, you know, it's, it was sad. I was seeing, uh, I think, Zali, Azali or something, winning most of the awards. It was it was really encouraging. It was very encouraging. Most Almost everyone is happy in there, you know, with that jamming in there, Zanku, Zanku, and all that. You know, yes, I'm happy. At least people are saying the industry is dying, but from this, from the look of things, I think. We are reviving, rather. We are reviving, rather. And I'm sure, like you say, everybody ex is excited in the... You think that the fifth anniversary of the Golden Movie Awards... You were here last year. Do you think yeah. that is an improvement on what we saw last year? Yes, yes, yes. Especially with the um, legendary awards, Jackie, Nadia, um, Abdul Salam, Roja. I mean, well deserved. Well deserved. I mean, I'm only a show, I'm only a baby. You know, say we are calling way back. So well deserved. I think almost everything went swell. Um, reception of the timing, beginning you know, was a bit, you know, a bit flat. But with time, they picked up and it was fun. Thank you very much, AJ. Thank you, darling. And I miss you. You're looking great. Thank you. Thank you. You're